Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create and manage administrative unit in Azure Active Directory. An administrative unit is an Azure Active Directory resource that can be a container for other Azure Active Directory resources. Administrative units let you subdivide your organization into any unit that you want and then assign specific administrators that can manage only the members of that unit. Keep in mind that an administrative unit can contain only users and groups. It is similar to organizational units in Windows Server Active Directory. Administrative units restrict permissions in a role to any person of your organization that you define. For example, you could use administrative units to delegate the help desk administrator role to regional support specialist so they can manage users only in the region that they support. Using administrative units requires an Azure AD Premium P1 license for each administrative unit administrator and Azure AD free licenses for administrative unit members. So let's see the steps to create new administrative unit in Azure Active Directory. For that, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On portal, under favorites, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator rule to create new administrative unit. Under Manage, click on Administrative Units. Right now, we don't have any administrative units in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Select the Add button at the upper part to create a new. In the name box, enter the name of the administrative unit. In my case, I'm going to give name India. Here I'm adding description of the users and groups from India. Click on the blue Review plus Create button, which will take us to Assign Rules page. At this moment, we are not going to assign any role. I'll create one separate video on it. Again, click on Review plus Create button. Here, we can review the information which we have selected, like the name of our administrative unit and the description. We haven't done assignment for this administrative unit. Finally, click on Create button to add administrative unit name India to our Azure Active Directory tenant. We can see the confirmation message and here we can see the name of our administrative unit which is India. After creating administrative unit, you can add users or groups to administrative units using the Azure portal. There are two methods to do it. One from user or group properties or second is from administrative unit properties. First, let's add a single user to administrative units. For that, I'm going to click on Users. Select the user or group you want to add to an administrative unit India. Uh, I'll click on Test User 1. On left side, select Administrative Units. Click on Plus icon Assign to Administrative Unit. At this moment, we have only one administrative unit named India, I'll select it. After selecting administrative unit, you will need to click on select button to add the user to the administrative unit. We get the confirmation message that the user has been successfully added to administrative unit named India. Now, our test user 1 is in India administrative unit. Now, let's look at the second method. Now, I'm going to close this page. I'm going to close this page as well. Click on Administrative Units under Manage. Select the administrative unit that you want to add users or groups to. In our case, we have only one and that is the India Administrative Unit. We can see this user one is already there. Click on Add Member plus icon. Select the users or groups you want to add the administrative unit. Uh, already test user 1 is selected. I'm going to select test user 2. 
and at the same time you can select multiple users or groups for that you just need to click on that user or group here we can see test user 2 and test user 3 both are selected click on select and wait for the confirmation message we got the message two members were added verify both users are listed under the india administrative unit when users or groups no longer need access you can remove users or groups from administrative unit select the user that you want to remove from the administrative unit here i'm going to select a user taste user 1 and click on remove member on confirmation window click ok yes we want to remove this member and we get the confirmation message that that test user 1 is no longer a member of this administrative unit named India. You can also remove user or group from their properties as well. Uh, let me close it. Let's click on users. In our case, I'm going to select a test user 2. Let's click on administrative units. Select India, which is our administrative unit. Click on remove from administrative unit. And we got the confirmation that membership has been removed from India administrative unit. And using the same steps, you can also add or remove group to your administrative unit. One more thing which I forgot to add earlier, it is possible that you can add specific user or group to multiple administrative units at the same time. So that concludes the video on how to create and manage administrative unit in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.